Today I'm going to be reading from chapter 13 of Stan Gooch's first book, Total Man. Um, and this chapter is The Psychotic Society. This is a term invented by Stan Gooch to describe the creeping psychosis that the West was taking on during the early 70s when he wrote the book. It's not meant to be a cognate of the clinical term psychosis, although he does point out that it's not that it's a different kind of term, it's just that it's by degrees a more extreme version of societal psychosis. So it's basically a list of symptoms of an alleged patient called society. Number one, the covering of domestic gardens with concrete to make a parking space for one's car. Number two, the replacement of telephone exchange and postal district names with numbers and the numbering of personal bank accounts. Number three, the protective pre-wrapping of foodstuffs and the sterilization of milk for longer life. An interesting paradox. Number four, the fear which, for instance, many Americans going abroad have of catching a disease as evidenced by long programs of shots prior to leaving. Number five, the high production rate and over diversification of detergents, cleaning, cleansing, and cosmetic products of all kinds. Number six, the overproduction of motor cars and consumer durables of all kinds and their triumph in importance in many senses over the human being. Number seven, the city as a desert. Desert equals a desolate and barren region, a place where nothing grows. Number eight, the actions and reactions both of the British Labour government and still more of the Conservatives towards permissiveness, pornography and marijuana. Nine, the marked increase in the use of technical and jargon terms based on Latin roots in everyday speech. Number 10, the building of very high, square, transparent blocks of offices and flats using non-organic materials, in respect of which the present book would like to coin the phrase, the anti-womb. 11, the denial of spontaneity and emotion at large by the institution of procedure, protocol, precedent, tradition, formalization, the pre-recording of radio and television broadcasts, and so on, and the general substitution of content by form, function by office. Number 12, the shallowness of registered and expressed emotion, the inconsequentiality and triviality as described by Henry Miller of everyday life in the West. Number 13, the trivialization on the one hand of women as women and on the other, the masculinization of women. Number 14, the technique of many kinds of killing at a distance, in the most extreme forms of which the people killed are seen by the killer neither before nor after that event. 15. Allied to this, 
the application of industrial techniques to the killing and disposal of human beings, as particularly in Nazi Germany, but also in the guillotine, the electric chair and so on, making feasible the notion and possible the phenomenon of mass destruction, the countercoin to mass production. 16. The removal of feeling and emotion, morality and ethics from the study of psychology. The replacement of a human-centred or even an organism-centred study of life by quantified, mechanistic and reductionist methods and computer-based models. So, these, this list was made in 1972 um, and was based around Stan's idea that within us there are two diverging personalities, two conflicting diverging personalities and that one of the personalities is, is going in one direction and pulling society, society in that direction and the other is pulling society in another direction. Um, I think he was really just talking about the West in this list because the rest of the world appears to be moving in the opposite direction and in some ways dragging the West in that direction too, the way that the West attempted to drag the rest of the world into their direction. The main point is that these two divergent personalities are contained within one person, i.e. the human being. And any attempt to separate them into two societies is futile because they are one person that cannot be split into two. The, this list uh, is just an attempt to display that, display the phenomenon that Stan was experiencing of the West separating itself into one type of, one, one side of the human personality. Which has only really succeeded in, I mean, it is happening as we can see from the imagery. Um, but this will, the, the end result will be futile because it's impossible to separate the two, the dual natures of man. Um, they will attempt it with artificial intelligence because uh, people uh, the, the one, one point in here, which is the removal of feeling and emotion from the study of psychology, um, is that these, the, the, the people involved in the sciences today, even more so than back in the 70s, are more likely to ascribe life to a robot or a computer than they are to an animal or a human being. So the move towards the psychotic is almost complete for those people, but it will never be totally complete because they still retain the other personality in their shadow. And somehow it will find a way of rising up and restoring the balance.